Welcome back to Project Surplus. Uh, it's a little bit cold today. Um, I want to remind you a little bit about what Project Surplus is. So I want to create a cost neutral farm, meaning it doesn't cost me money and it's not necessarily making a profit. It's just covering costs. So cost neutral farms, that's the first thing. Now to do that, I obviously need to sell produce, but for this project, I'm not looking at selling so much produce to make um, a record amount of profit, I just want to cover cost. The second thing in the, my criteria is I don't want it crazy labor intensive. And the third thing, I obviously want to produce an abundant amount of food for myself and my family. So what I want to show you here is my rabbits. And today I want to talk about efficiency. So one thing you'll notice with these rabbit coops, it's got this thing out, out on the front of them with the solar panel on top. That is a robotic auto mover robotic tractor. Basically, it's moving the rabbit coops along. And behind it, what I'm about to show you, it's actually got four coops. So I don't actually move the coops. This thing moves it. So this is about my efficiency. So I don't have to spend hours and hours a day trying to manage and tend to the animals. I'm gonna show you a few of the other efficiencies now. There's a free range chicken there. That's not one of the efficiencies because I'll have to catch that a bit later. But um, um, I don't normally have free range chickens, meaning they're free ranging outside of all the fences because then um, the Kelpie dog or a fox or something will chase them. Anyway, back to the rabbits. So this, this auto mover that's here is connected to these two rabbit coops and then behind these two rabbit coops, I've got two others. Now I'll show you inside the rabbit coops and show you some of my design criteria so I can minimize labor, but maximize comfort for the rabbits. So inside these rabbit coops, what one thing I've got, I've got large feeders. So this is 100 millimeter pipe. I can fill it up with feed and um, it, it'll, it just gravity feeds down. I've got a little shelf for the rabbit. I've got a little hidey hole where they can sometimes nest in there or just jump in there if they want. This is something I want to point out. This is 10 litres of water, and in this cage, it's for one rabbit. So 10 litres of water. Now, a rabbit may only eat, say, uh, sorry, drink about half a litre of water a day. So she doesn't need 10 litres. What this is, this is thermal mass. This isn't very efficient. The rabbit from that side is coming over to this side. That's all right. They used to be in together, these rabbits. You just stay there. I want to talk about thermal mass and I'm talking about this in a new book which I've got coming out probably next month. In, in summer, if I've got 10 litres of water, it's going to take a long time for that water to heat up. So therefore it's actually keeping the water cool. And so let's look at the alternative. I have a one litre container, I have to fill it up every single day and it's going to heat up in summer quite fast. So by simply... Um, using a bigger amount of water than what I need, I can actually keep the water cool. So this is the, the setup. Uh, they're 2.4 by 1.2 meter cages. I've got this in two compartments. Uh, they've both got a big drinker. They've both got big, big feeders and they're all joined together. I've got um, two more cages back here. So this auto mover moves all the rabbit coops forward. It moves forward about every every hour. It moves them forward a little bit. So I don't have to move the coops. I can fill up the water maybe twice a week and I just check the, check the feeders each day. So I like to be on the farm, but I don't like the farm needing me every hour of the day. So here are some of the, the design criterias that I tried to build into my product. So coming and feeding and checking on the rabbits it's a joy it's not like that i have to be out here twice a day because i've got a tiny little feeder or a tiny little drinker so if you're growing your own food think about how you can make things more efficient and it can be things that are really simple rather than turning on the hose and then having to set an alarm in your phone to go back out in 45 minutes to turn the hose off go buy a tap timer that it just turns it off after whatever period of time. These are the things when you start putting them on your farm, you can start getting time back. And I use a bit of an example of six minutes. If I can just save six minutes here or six minutes there, I do that 10 times, there's an hour. 
And there's so many inefficiencies on so many farms where people are wasting hours on, and days over the year doing little tasks where they could automate or set up something a bit better. And, and one of the things could be put in a larger drinker. So rather than having to fill up the drinkers four times a week, you're only doing them twice a week, saving a lot of time pulling the hose out and holding it there while things fill up. So just a short video today. I thought I'll, I'll quickly show you, the, show you the rabbits and the setup. I'll just quickly run through what I've got here with the rabbits because over the next few months, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing to sell rabbits to earn an income from them. So in here, I've got uh, two females. Um, they should both be pregnant, dropping babies in about 26 days from now. So stay tuned, you'll see, see them. Um, this particular coop is empty because I'm waiting for another rabbit to come. There's the male rabbit. G'day, buddy. He's a little coop. And then in here, in here I've got hiding somewhere under there. There's a rabbit. Oh, sorry, there, there is a rabbit in that one now. And then all, all, the, all the babies are in here. They've got their feeder, they're munching on their feeder. I've got a little bit of loosen in there. The, the, these babies are from two, two, separate, um, two separate litters, but they're all in there together having a good old time. And they will um, be processed soon, meaning they'll go to the abattoir and I'll sell these. So that's my quick little rabbit setup. Have a good day. Here at Chicken Caravan, we obviously make caravans for chickens. This one here holds 10 chickens. And this one here holds 600 chickens. Our vision is to see the world farming sustainably. And to do that, we want to continually develop sustainable farming systems that can be duplicated worldwide. Since we built our first chicken caravan back in 2010, our chicken caravan products have now been exported to over 20 countries around the world. Although chickens are our main focus, we also have development projects with sheep, pigs, and rabbits. To find out more about the chicken caravan company, please go to chickencaravan.com.